making amounts, pounds and pence. Here are some notes and coins. They've been arranged from the note with the largest value to the coin with the smallest value. This is a £50 note. This is a £20 note. This is a £10 note. This is a £5 note. This is a £2 coin. This is a £1 coin. This is a 50p coin. This is a 20p coin. This is a 10p coin. This is a 5p coin. This is a 2p coin. And this is a 1p coin. What is the value of the coins below? This coin is a £2 coin. We have three lots of £2. So £2 plus £2 plus £2 equals £6. This is a 2p coin. We have four lots of 2p. So 2p plus 2p plus 2p plus 2p equals 8p. This is a 20p coin. We have three lots of 20p. So 20p plus 20p plus 20p equals 60p. What is the value of the notes and coins below? First, we can label all of the notes and coins. This is a £10 note. This is a 1p coin. This is a 50p coin. This is a 10p coin. This is a 5p coin. This is a £5 note. This is a £2 coin. This is a 10p coin. This is a 2p coin. This is a is a 10p coin and this is a £1 coin. It is easier to arrange these with pounds and pence separately. So, like this. When we're adding the pounds, we have £10 plus £5 plus £2 plus one pounds. This is equal to 18 pounds. Now, when working with the other coins, we have 50p plus 10p plus 10p plus 10p plus 5p plus 2p plus 1p. The total of this is 88p. So, in total, we have 18 pounds and 88 P. Fill in the box with the correct symbol. First, we need to work out the value of the coins from each side. Now it's your turn. Pause the video and have a go at finding the total of each side. Then compare the values. Let's look at the pounds of the left hand side first. We have two two pound coins. Two lots of two pounds or two pounds and two pounds equals four pounds. Now looking at the pence, we have a 20p coin, a 10p coin, a 5p coin and two 1p coins. Adding all of these together, we get 37p. So, the total of the left-hand side is £4 and 37p. Doing the same on the right-hand side, looking at the pounds first, we have a £2 coin and a £1 coin. £2 plus £1 equals £3. Now, let's look at the pence. We have a 50p coin, a 10p coin, 
two 5p coins and a 2p coin. Adding all of these together, we have 72 pence. Which side is bigger? Remember, Charlie the crocodile is very greedy and will always want to eat the larger side. Charlie will eat the group of coins worth four pounds and 37 P. So we need this symbol. We know that four pounds and 37 P is more than three pounds and 72 P. Remember, every note and coin has its own value. When adding money, it can help to add the pounds first, then the pence.